As we speak, our night sky is undergoing a metamorphosis that will leave it unrecognizable in a matter of decades, if not years. Astronomers worldwide have raised the alarm. Experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have just confirmed that Polaris is about to explode, and the story behind it is harrowing. Its central presence in the night sky defines its special position as the North Star. Until now, Polaris was the one constant stargazers, navigators, and astronomers could always count on. This may change soon enough, and with it, our night sky and astronomical measurements may never be the same again. Join us as we unveil the gravity of this threat and what it means to us all. Let's explore the story of Polaris as it nears its end. Polaris has long been seen as the guiding North Star and has held a revered place as a guiding beacon for astronomers and navigators for centuries. Its steadfast presence in the night sky has been a cornerstone of navigation using the night sky, but this may all change in the blink of an eye. A recent research paper presented by the esteemed Royal Astronomical Society in September 2023 has cast a shadow of uncertainty over the fate of this celestial luminary. The star is on the verge of exploding and forever disappearing from the night sky. Before we dive into the implications of this revelation, let's take a look at the star in question. Polaris, also known as the North Star or Pole Star, holds a special place in the sky due to its proximity to the celestial North Pole. It sits almost directly above the Earth's North Pole, making it appear nearly stationary in the northern sky. It's located in the constellation Ursa Minor, also known as the Little Dipper or the Small Bear. Polaris is a moderately bright star, and in terms of size, it's a yellow-white supergiant star considerably larger and brighter than our sun, but of course much farther. With a radius estimated to be about 40 times that of the Sun, Polaris is often perceived as a solitary star, but it is actually part of a complex triple star system. The primary stars are Polaris A and Polaris AB, appearing as a single star to the naked eye, with a third companion, Polaris B, orbiting the binary pair. The interactions among these stars create a gravitational pull shaping their orbits and influencing the behaviors of each. Such intricate dynamics also affect the luminosity and characteristics of the stars involved. Any disturbances in these interactions can thus lead to irregular variations in the star's luminosity or pulsation patterns. However, the exact mechanisms and intricacies of these interactions are not yet known. What we do know is that since Polaris is situated some 323 light years away, the light from Polaris takes approximately 323 years to reach Earth. This means that the light we currently see from Polaris is as it was 323 years ago. Given the distance, if Polaris were to explode today, we wouldn't know about it until 323 years from now. By the time we witnessed the event from Earth, it would have occurred over three centuries in the past. Of course, the predictions made by scientists are based on the empirical evidence we see right now, which means that Polaris could have already exploded and we simply haven't seen the light from that event yet. Historically, the North Star's importance extends across various civilizations and eras, imparting significant cultural, navigational, and symbolic value. Its stability and fixed position near the celestial North Pole have made it an invaluable navigational aid for ancient mariners and travelers. It served as a guiding beacon, allowing sailors to orient themselves and navigate across seas and lands. Since its position nearly aligned with the Earth's axis, this made it a reliable reference point for determining direction, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. Across cultures, Polaris holds symbolic importance. In some societies, it represented constancy and steadfastness. It is also seen as a pole star that has remained fixed amidst the celestial dance of the night sky. In myths and folklore, it often symbolized guidance, stability, or a celestial anchor. Polaris's fixed position in the night sky also made it crucial for astronomers. It served as a reference for observing other celestial bodies, aiding in the study of the night sky motions and patterns. As a Cepheid variable star, Polaris displays periodic variations in brightness, and this, in turn, helped us uncover important discoveries about stellar properties and the nature of variable stars. This characteristic also made it pivotal in determining cosmic distances and calibrating instruments. These pulsations exhibit a predictable pattern, or at least that is how the star behaves normally, allowing us to predict the pattern with ease. However, 
Recently, the star has deviated from this expected behavior. This unsettling irregularity in its pulsation cycle has baffled astronomers, prompting a closer examination of this celestial anomaly. Instead of following a predictable pulsation pattern, Polaris has begun exhibiting an erratic and unpredictable cycle of dimming and brightening. Scientists have now begun raising alarm over the issue, stating that the star may be on the verge of the end. This is consistent with the pattern of behaviors observed when a star nears the end of its life. The progress of elongation of Polaris's pulsation period, which was traditionally stable in its cyclic dimming and brightening, can be attributed to the interactions between the star system that we perceive as one. On our end, we can observe that the annual increment in the pulsation duration stands at 4 or 5 seconds. This may not seem like much, but it's a big deal. Some astronomers have offered conservative deductions, stating that perhaps the gravitational interplay between the Polaris stars may have induced these fluctuations in Polaris's atmospheric conditions, directly impacting its pulsation patterns. However, others are not convinced. They believe that the star will explode in the near future, and there is reason for suspecting as such, since Polaris's enigmatic behavior bears striking resemblances to Betelgeuse. Like Polaris, Betelgeuse, a prominent star in the Orion constellation, has exhibited perplexing irregularities in its luminosity, leading to speculation about a potential imminent explosion. Many experts have already raised alarm about the star's inevitable end. The fluctuations observed in both stars' brightness and patterns mirror each other, drawing intriguing parallels between their behaviors. Cepheid stars in their twilight stages showcase such patterns in behavior before reaching the termination of their life cycles. These celestial entities, while pulsating regularly for eons, undergo peculiar changes in their luminosity as they approach the end of their stellar journeys. NASA's attention was captivated by the anomalies exhibited by Betelgeuse. The agency's heightened concern regarding Betelgeuse's potential explosion contrasts with the observed irregularities in Polaris. While NASA has expressed considerable interest and vigilance over Betelgeuse's unusual behavior, similar scrutiny and concern have yet to be officially announced regarding Polaris. Cepheid stars embark on a grand journey through various phases in their evolutionary cycle. Newborn stars have relatively low temperatures and brightness. Following this, they progress into the main sequence phase, marked by nuclear fusion, where they remain stable for billions of years. Eventually, as their hydrogen fuel depletes, they transit into the red giant phase, characterized by a rapid increase in temperature and brightness. The red giant phase witnesses a dramatic surge in energy output before culminating in a catastrophic explosion. They shed their outer layers in a dazzling display known as a supernova. Post explosion, what remains is a compact, dense core known as a white dwarf. Based on Polaris's irregular pulsations, scientists have predicted that the star has entered the stages of helium depletion that are observed in Cepheid stars nearing the end of their life cycles. As a Cepheid star exhausts its stable helium supply, the star undergoes erratic pulsations, causing fluctuations in its brightness. This depletion triggers a series of events leading to irregular light emissions potentially reflecting the depletion process occurring within Polaris. It is, however, important to note that while these irregularities align with behaviors indicative of Cepheid stars in their twilight phases, definitive indications of Polaris nearing the ultimate stage of its life cycle remain inconclusive. Astronomers continue to analyze and interpret these irregularities in pursuit of understanding Polaris's impending fate. If Polaris were to go supernova, it would likely be a spectacular event in our sky. The star would suddenly become incredibly bright, potentially outshining the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects in the night sky. This could last for days, weeks, or months. The star's appearance might change drastically. It could transform into a brilliant point of light or a transient object, possibly developing colorful hues before fading away. The visual display might temporarily alter our perception of the familiar pattern of the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, as Polaris is the current North Star and a part of these constellations. As for us, rest assured that we'd be perfectly safe. Considering the mass and distance of Polaris, the Earth would likely be safe even if the star were to explode. Visually, while a Polaris explosion might not be as striking as that of Betelgeuse, it could still be visible to the naked eye for long and outshine nearby stars.
astronomers and observatories would certainly take notice, and the scientific community and stargazers worldwide would be intrigued by the phenomenon. Nonetheless, the specific visibility and impact on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would be less significant compared to a closer supernova event. But what about the star itself upon the precipice of a potential supernova event? What will be the post-cataclysmic fate of Polaris? Let's get one thing straight here. While giant stars usually end their lives with a supernova, this will most likely not be the case with Polaris. Normally, when a massive star goes supernova, a colossal explosion occurs within it. This event marks the final cataclysmic stage in the life of that star, resulting in the dispersion of heavy elements and sometimes leading to the formation of neutron stars or black holes. This process involves a complete collapse of the star's core, followed by impending supernova, Polaris's potential end. The potential supernova of Polaris has profound implications for both our understanding of stellar evolution and our experience of the night sky. Should Polaris indeed go supernova, it would transform into an extraordinarily bright point of light, potentially outshining all other stars. This sudden increase in brightness would be observable to the naked eye, making it a historical event for astronomers and casual stargazers alike. However, despite the spectacle, the explosion would not pose any threat to Earth due to the star's considerable distance from our planet. The future North Star, successors to Polaris. The end of Polaris as the North Star doesn't mean the end of a guiding star. The Earth's axial precession, a slow and gradual shift in the orientation of Earth's rotational axis, will eventually cause a new star to take over this role. Currently, Polaris is nearly aligned with the celestial North Pole, but this alignment changes over millennia due to gravitational forces exerted by the Sun and Moon on Earth's equatorial bulge. In the distant past, Thuban in the constellation Draco served as the North Star. In about 12,000 years, Vega in the constellation Lyra is expected to take over as the North Star. This gradual shift ensures that there will always be a star near the North Pole, serving as a reliable navigational aid. Polaris's legacy, cultural and scientific impact. Polaris's potential demise marks the end of an era, but its legacy will endure. The star has been a symbol of constancy and guidance, inspiring countless myths and serving as a navigational beacon for centuries. Its importance in celestial navigation cannot be overstated, and its predictable pulsations have provided astronomers with valuable data for understanding stellar properties and calibrating cosmic distances. The erratic behavior observed in recent years highlights the dynamic nature of stars and the importance of continued observation and research. Polaris's transformation will offer a rare opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a Cepheid variable star's life, potentially providing new insights into stellar evolution and the processes leading to supernovae. Conclusion A new chapter in the night sky As we stand on the brink of witnessing a celestial event of unparalleled significance, the night sky's impending metamorphosis serves as a reminder of the universe's ever-changing nature. Polaris's potential explosion will mark a profound shift, altering not just our navigation systems and astronomical measurements, but also the cultural and historical narratives woven around this steadfast star. The story of Polaris, from its stable presence as the North Star to its unpredictable end, underscores the dynamic and transient nature of the cosmos. As we prepare to bid farewell to Polaris, we also look forward to the rise of a new North Star continuing the timeless cycle of celestial guidance for future generations.